the ultimate 2019 flagship killer that you're not buying. Hey, what's up, guys? And it's time to take a look at a very underrated smartphone that didn't get much spotlight because of some external factors. But nonetheless, it's an absolute flagship killer of a device. I present you with honor the Honor 20 Pro. So I've been using this phone for a couple of weeks now, and I figure it really deserves the hype. This is a budget flagship phone. You know, the one that doesn't cost $1,000 and doesn't take your kidney while still being a flagship device. It's coming at $600 range. It's a little bit cheaper than OnePlus 7 Pro. Depending on where you live, you might get it even cheaper than that. And based on the price value, it really brings some good stuff to the table. So if you're using the Honor 20 Pro, there's really just two things that stand out. First is the battery life and the other thing is the camera. I feel like at this price, this might just be the best camera and battery performer in the game. It's rocking a quad camera setup with a 48 megapixel main sensor, f1.4 aperture, 3x optical zoom, 5 times hybrid, and it could go all the way up to 30x. There's a 16 megapixel wide angle lens and a macro lens coming at 2 megapixel. It shoots amazing photos, as you can expect from a Huawei flagship camera. Honestly, I can't see a major difference in camera performance compared to the P30 family. The night mode is amazing. The overall picture quality is great. Nice and sharp wide angle photos, even in low light scenarios. The 32 megapixel front camera doesn't disappoint either. It can shoot 4K videos at 30 frames per second, no 4K 60 FPS, but it does allow 4K in wide angle mode and you can switch to wide angle mode while you're recording a 4K video. Camera really make this a pretty dang good deal. Now the design is pure premium, it feels very handy and convenient to hold. The phantom black color has a purple touch to it, which is nice. There is no headphone jack, but there is an IR blaster, which is a bit surprising. This phone is officially having the fastest fingerprint scanner I have ever tried. It is super, super quick, blazingly quick. Because of its positioning, it feels really convenient to reach as well. The battery on this phone is 4000 mAh that allows it to last a day easily. And depending on your usage, you might squeeze a two day of usage out of it. Now, very surprisingly, under the hood, it actually rocks Kryn 980 chipset, which is the same that is inside of the P30 family. So you're getting a flagship performance along with 8 gigs of RAM. There is no problem when it comes to RAM management. Extreme gaming performance, zero lag whatsoever. It's very optimized for high end usage. For me, camera, battery, and performance are the main things which the phone's nail is pretty good. But of course, there are some things that aren't my favorite. First up is the display. It's a 6.2 inch LCD display with punch hole design, 1080p at 441 ppi it is sharp and bright but definitely not as vibrant or color accurate as the oled displays on the competition it doesn't have stereo speakers as well so i've actually used stereo speaker phones a lot so for me using this single speaker phone it was very noticeable. With that being said, it is loud enough to get the job done, but nothing crazy. It doesn't support wireless charging, although I don't care about it that much, but if that's something important to you, then you should know that this phone has no wireless charging. Now, my least favorite thing about this phone is the skin, the magic skin or the EMUI skin, whatever you wanna call it. It's still overwhelming. It's not very clean looking, feels overdone. And for some odd reason, even with Android 9.0 Pi running, this thing doesn't have dark mode, which is a bit disappointing. Hopefully with Android Q update, things will be much improved based on the EMUI 10.0. Thankfully, it is Android, so you can customize it. I'll probably install a launcher on this for a clean look if I'm gonna use this phone for very long term. And since Huawei got another 90 days of license, this phone will definitely gonna receive Android Q update based on EMUI 10.0. So software is definitely the least favorite part about this phone, but it's something that's gonna get better with updates. And again, it's Android, so you you can customize the look and feel to make it less painful. But other than that, this phone is a solid flagship killer. I'm really impressed with the camera. The performance is amazing. You get a thousand dollar phone performance on a $600 range device, which is pretty good. And of course the battery life, 4,000 mAh, easy one day and a potential two day of usage. Again, depends on how heavy you use this phone. So if you're okay with not having the best display and if you're okay with Huawei skin, then Honor 20 Pro is definitely the phone to go with. I had a really fun time making this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about the Honor 20 Pro? Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for future videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.